Obviously, I'm real proud of our guys. Uh, this is what A&M is all about. Uh, character, toughness. Uh, Alex Baird, uh, believe it or not, I was very confident in putting him in the game and made a conscious effort early to tell him, hey, we're going to play you. I got confidence in you because he's in the gym by himself all the time. And uh, attitude's been great all year. And uh, I thought he, he gave us a big lift as well as our bench. To, I was complaining about our bench scoring last game, and it must have worked. So we, we had 25 points, I think, off the bench, and that was incredible. Coach, you said that you were confident in Alex. Do you think that confidence carried over into his game? Because he, he didn't look like he had barely played at all this season. He, he looks confident out there. Yeah, he, he's confident because he prepares himself. He, he's an upperclassman. Uh, I, I knew he wouldn't be afraid, to, to be honest with you. I didn't know how well he would play and how he would execute. But, uh, you know, and there were some moments in the first half where we ran some plays a little bit the wrong way. But, uh, you know, our guys made up for it on the defensive end and I thought we did a great job on Keaton Page. And, you know, just like our effort, everybody who played tonight gave us something positive. Coach, how about Lightning Dan and just his effort out there? And Daniel Alexander's been great. Yeah, Daniel's his, he had two big threes against Kansas. His confidence has been a lot better. His pr practice habits have been good. Our team's effort the last week or so, week and a half, has really been good on in practice, and uh, that usually leads to good play. But you said you told him to be ready. You couldn't have imagined 21 minutes and no turnovers. No, you know, and I was a little surprised they didn't come after him a little bit more. Uh, Fortunately, they didn't. Uh, but he, when they did, he handled it well. He took his time and got the ball to the right people. Uh, and you know, they're they're a little bit beat up also, and uh, we're just fortunate to get the win. And by doing that, that led else to play where he could naturally play. Yeah, and I really went to him early in the first. I said I was going to play Alex early in the first half just to give, get him some time because I thought we would need him. And um, I was really, I thought Elson was really push, pushing too hard at the one, you know, out of rhythm offensively and trying to do too much at times. Um, and so when we were able to bump, bump him to the two, we had much better balance. Coach Ford said that sometimes those hungry guys can be the most dangerous. Was that an example of that today with some of your guys? Uh, you know, I think so. You know, we, we talked about it all week. Hey, we're beat up. We need everybody to give a little bit more. And that's what we're going to focus on all week. You need to pay attention to detail. You need to do the things that we can't control. We can't control injuries, but we need to control the things we can't control. And we did a really good job of that this week. How do those three guys stay injury-wise? Like, you know, you uh, <clears throat> Courtney's uh, going to be a while, um, so we're not anticipating him coming any coming out anytime soon. Chris, I think, is getting better. Um, and Dash is – he couldn't have played today because it could have hurt him down the road. So we really want to wait till he's 100% before we play him because uh, we're limited with depth, so we, we've got to have those guys – do a good job of getting back and be healthy. You might want to come back quicker now that after walking. <laughs> Dash wants to come back. I mean, he 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 really makes an effort, and he wanted to play today. You know, I told him this morning when he was, I watched him walk. I said, "You're not going to play. You know, you don't don't think about playing. Uh, you need to. We need you down the road." Did you add a coach there on, on the bench? It seemed like he was staying pretty vocal. And Keep it with the guys. Yeah, he's he's been great. Uh, we wanted him to sit up front because uh, he's into the game. He's vocal. Um, he was encouraging guys and talking to guys, and was right next to us, so he knew what we wanted done. And uh, he's been good for us uh, all all year in, in in that role. Coach Ray didn't score in the second half, but he he really kind of got you off the mat there. Early well, he made some jump shots. I mean, it's. He can shoot the ball, and fortunately he made them because those were the kind, you know, oh, no, and then he goes in and, you know, he made a couple of the bank from the top. I mean, we had some things go well for us, and we we haven't had those kind of shots go in for us all year, so we, we got some breaks today that we usually don't get. What was the biggest difference in the first and second half since it was a tight ball game at halftime? You know, I, I just thought our guys were a little hungrier. You know, You know, I thought they were – more excited to play um, and believed, once they believed we could win, 
you know, I, I think that uh, gave him a lot of confidence. Is this one of the really fun parts of coaching is seeing guys that maybe not get much time do what they did? Uh, it's, uh, you know, I told uh, the media after, uh, you know, it's one of my better wins because uh, when you do the right things, it, 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 it pays off. So that was a, it was a big win. That, um, Elson was talking about how you told them before the game just to have fun, and it really looked like they were doing that. Is that did you kind of see that? <laughs> yeah, you know, I, and, and they had a lot of energy. You know, we, we had more energy, uh, and, they, and they were having fun, and uh, obviously making bank shots and making some shots in the first half, you know, and, and going to, with the lead in, in the first half I thought was, was very important, and uh, we finished up with the lead, and that was big. What can a win like this do for you guys moving forward? Well, hopefully uh, it, it breeds confidence. You know, uh, Baylor obviously is very confident. They've only lost two games. Uh, we did a good job against them defensively. They only scored 61 points, and I think we're a much better team today than we were then. Um, but we're going to have to have an exceptional performance against a real confident Baylor team. So hopefully our confidence level will, will match what they have. Couple more. It seemed like at the end of the second half, you were telling the guys to slow it down. But at the same time, they were getting some pretty easy shots early in the shot clock. Was it tough to because you want to run clock, but these guys were also getting some easy shots up? Yeah, we, we wanted to attack and not wait on the trap, and then uh, space the floor out. We spaced the floor out, and we were unselfish, and we made some good decisions. When when we moved the ball, uh, we made some good decisions. When we kept the ball dribbling and won a guy's hand, we got in trouble. So and we hadn't been in that situation, I mean, this year. So it was it was good for us to experience that, especially some of those guys, you know, who haven't played a lot. They made really good decisions on on the offensive end. But we won with our defense. Anytime you limit Keaton Page and LeBron Nash, and uh, you're going to have a chance to win. What did you do to stop Keaton Page? I noticed Jordan was on him when he was in. Jordan and Elston did a great job of guarding him, and our post guys, you know, hedged real hard and, and gave great help. And that's one of the reasons why we didn't rebound as well, because our post guys were away from the basket, helping so much on him. And I thought the second half, uh, Zach Kinsley and Jordan and our guards did a better job of rebounding after the first five minutes of the second half. So you didn't mind those those fouls that were being called out up top because you knew in the long no, run. No, we wanted them. Obviously, we didn't want to. We had some cheap fouls, but we we wanted to push Keaton away from the basket and uh, take our chances with some of the other guys to beating us.